All right, Sergeant Raider, how are you today? I'm doing well, thank you. And yourself? I'm doing really well. So we're talking to you today. This is your fourth deployment, is that correct? Uh, negative. This is my fifth deployment. Okay, fifth deployment. And you're in Afghanistan currently? Yes, I am. Okay. So how many times have you missed now being home with your family for holidays like Thanksgiving, Christmas, all of those? Uh, this will be my third uh, year actually missing the holidays back home. Not, not consecutively, thank goodness. Yes. But um, how does it feel when you're not home with your family on days like Thanksgiving? It, it kind of puts a damper on the days. You know, you can't really enjoy the holidays as much. Uh, but that's all right. I, uh, I actually have a family member out here. Uh, my sister is currently serving in the Air Force out here just about 10 minutes down the road from me. So I, even though I'm not home to enjoy the holidays with all my family and friends, I do actually have some family out here. Well, that's good. That's comforting because a lot of soldiers don't get to have family at all there. So talk about your family a little bit. Um, who's in our area? Do you have a father and a mother here? And do you have a wife and kids? Um, my wife and children are actually down in Tampa, Florida right now with, with their parents. Um, the only family that I currently still have in West Virginia is my father who it was just a little bit outside of Charleston. Okay. And so now will you get to talk to them on Thanksgiving? Yes, ma'am. I sure will. All right. Will you be doing a satellite conference uh, through Skype or something like that or just a telephone call? Skype out here is my best friend. So we'll be going through Skype. All right. And so how do they feel whenever um, they get to talk to you? I know Thanksgiving's probably the best time to get to talk to your family members, but, I mean, when you pick up the phone to call them or they see you through that satellite, how does that make them feel? Oh, they always have a smile on their face the entire conversation. It's always a good feeling not to be able to just to hear the person you're talking to, but actually to get to see the person's face from the other side of the country or the other side of the world rather it's it it really helps them out i think they they enjoy the entire conversation fully as well as i do of course right i'm sure they'd rather have you there with them though at their table is that right oh absolutely absolutely yeah so what will you be doing with your sister then on thanksgiving do you get to see each other Every day, yes, ma'am. Um, we usually have breakfast together every morning, but uh, since tomorrow will be Thanksgiving for us, we'll we'll definitely have a sit down and enjoy a, a nice little dinner together. They're actually going to be having right, a barbecue over in her area, so I think I'll be going there too. So. Well, that sounds pretty good. Not the traditional turkey, but still good. Yes. So now, talk a little yes, bit about your That's deployment. Good. Good. What are you? What are you doing on your deployment? What I do is uh, I'm a loadmaster for the C-17 cargo aircraft as well as the C-5 cargo aircraft. Uh, what I do is I, I pretty much make sure that all the units that are deploying back to the, back to the states have all their information together so I could actually get their gear and physically have it loaded onto the aircraft so they could actually go back home to see their family. Wow, so that's a pretty important job then. Yes, ma'am. I'd like to think so. All right. Yeah, I think we all think so. And so talk a little bit about your time yes, in West Virginia. You graduated from Robert C. Byrd High School, correct? Yes, ma'am, in 2000. All right. So, will you your fam you said your family is in Tampa, Florida right now, but will you be coming back to West Virginia? 
Yes, ma'am. Um, for my block leave, I will be coming back from or to West Virginia. I did a lot of my growing up, my uh, my good teenager years there in Clarksburg. So a lot of the stories that I have from my childhood is actually from good old Clarksburg. All right. So what do you miss about West Virginia? What do you love about the state? The Southern hospitality. Definitely. I like the Southern hospitality. And uh, of course, you got to love those pepperoni rolls. <laughs> I think we actually had some pepperoni rolls upstairs this morning in our kitchen, so i uh, probably kind of jealous of that. <laughs> <laughs> so now will yes, you get to be home for, exactly. will you get to be home for Christmas this year? No, um, I will unfortunately not be able to be home for Christmas again. Um, however, like for Thanksgiving, I will have my family here as well. But uh, I will be home in time for my birthday, which is in March, so okay. I'm real happy about that. Definitely. I bet your kids are definitely happy about that. What's it like? I'm sure you've missed some of their birthdays and things like that. What's that like, and how do they take that? Um, they're still so young that it's not a big big deal, I guess you would say, but just not being home. Um, I know the kids, uh, my daughter is two years old, my son is four, so I know they're, the only way they know to act out is not the positive way, just because I'm gone, but they push through it. Well, that's good. Good to hear. I bet they love when you walk through that door after being gone for months at a time. They probably just love seeing your face when you walk through the door. Yes. Uh, I actually just came back from R&R &R not too long ago. Uh, as soon as I walked through my house, uh, both my kids, they, they didn't run up to me. They didn't run away from me. They just kind of just stood there in disbelief, staring at me like they couldn't believe that I was home. So now your typical reaction where you, you see the kids just running towards their dad, they're just kind of taking you all in, trying to get the whole picture of you. Yes. Um, I don't think they understood that I was going to be leaving just a few short weeks later, but we, we got our, in our good time together, actually really enjoyed each other's company, but they they didn't like the thought of me leaving, though. Oh, I can't imagine. Well, um, no. and I just want to make sure too. You said you you do currently live in West Virginia when you come home. Where do you where exactly do you live in West Virginia? Um, I I don't actually live live in West Virginia. Okay. That's not my home of record anymore. That would actually be down in Tampa. But I still do okay. like to uh, come up to West Virginia and enjoy my time either with my father near Charleston or I go to visit a lot of friends back home still in Clarksburg. I, I still consider that a, a close home to heart. All right. Is there anything you want to say to the folks watching? Um, I mean, this is going to air tomorrow on Thanksgiving Day. Is there anything you'd like to say to them back home? Um, I miss you all. Uh, both family and friends. I love you guys. Um, I will will be home soon enough. Soon enough. All right. Well, we certainly wish you a safe rest of your trip, and absolutely, you and your sister both have a happy Thanksgiving and a Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for talking to me today. Oh, absolutely. Thank you for having me.